Good job, up, young man. Is she coming down or what? I don't know. Well, shall I shout for her? Oh, you better not, babe. She's a bit on it. Something to do with her ex old man. Who, Pete? No, the one before him. Go and serve the lever of the cab whistle, will you? Bon voyage to Barry, on the house. Would you like to make myself some coffee? Oh, yeah, help yourself. Is it a busy session? Busy enough, considering there was just the two of us. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Donna. Well, you've got to admit that's not like me. I'm usually down there, you know, on duty all weathers, but things just got a bit on top of me, that's all. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Is there anything you want to talk about? I'll just go and wash my hands and get the smell of beer. He ain't been on that phone again, has he? No. And why are you sitting out of the dumps? Ah, was it your visitor, the terror of the tongue? Lou's all right. <laughs> You've changed your mind, haven't you? What's she want anyway? I don't know. Well, make her peace, she said. She was funny. There's something on her mind, Frank. I can't put my finger on it. Well, going to be bad news, but There was no love lost between you two, was there? I might have been wrong about her. No, oh, you were right, darling. You always thought she was a cow. And she is. I'm going to bottle that. You all right? Yeah. You sure? Mm. Okay. Did you want a coffee? Oh, tell. Donna, can I ask you something personal? You can try, but I can't guarantee that I'll answer. You and Kath? Oh, that's too personal. Oh, no, I don't want to know the ins and outs. I I'm not prying, honest. I just want to know something. You know she's your mum. She knows you're her daughter, right? Yeah. Well... <laughs> You're not exactly tearing each other's eyes out. But you're not over the moon, either. Did you think it would turn out like that? Did it cross your mind that... that you wouldn't get on like ours on phone? Yeah, of course it did. But us not getting on was a risk I had to take. Why? Why? Because she's my mother. I had to get to know her. Even if I ended up not liking her. Even if I ended up hating her. You have to know what your origins are, Pat. Even if they stink. Good this evening. Oh, yeah. And Donna, don't worry, I'll pull me away tonight. Oh, I do hate opening up. I mean, you've only got an hour, haven't you? You go home, fall into the bath, and then you've got to be back. Thanks for the chat. Anytime. See you later. Yeah. What's she so happy about? I didn't think she'd speak to you after lunch, did Told her she didn't have to be until seven. Oh, charm. At least me and you, does it, babe? Well, look, can you open up and manage on your own for the first five minutes? Sure, what's up? Just got to see a man about a dog, that's all. All right, babe, I'll get me nut down for an hour and I'll, uh, I'll catch you later, yeah? Yeah. Babe, well, I'll uh, turn the lights and I'll do the ice bucket. Good okay. Frank. Was there any sandwiches left over from lunchtime? Yeah, they're in the downstairs kitchen. Uh, knock 20p off them, will you? All right, thanks. Leave him room. What's going on? Search me, Ellen. Search me. Hello, son. Thanks for coming. Sit down. This won't take long. We've got a pub to run. Seen your gran? Yeah. Me too. She, uh, she gave me this. It was a present I gave to her the day I married your dad. The day I married Pete. Yeah, she gave me a stone from South End Beach. Albert gave it to her on their honeymoon. Looks like she's having a trip down memory lane. Yeah, she told me to sort myself out. Be my own man. She told me a few home truths and all. It's because of her what she said, that I wanted to see you. She's a canny old bird. For all her fire and brimstone, she knows exactly how to get straight to the jugular. You've been pretty good to your old mum, Simon, considering what you've had to put up with over the years. You've only lapsed a couple of times, treated me like dirt in public, but I can't say I blame you. I hope I've treated you all right. I've tried. But I owe you an apology, son. It's a big one. A whopper. It's confession time, see? That's why I wanted to see you just before we opened, because I couldn't put it off. I'm putting it off, aren't I? I know what a rotten time you had when you were a kid. All the abuse you had to take because of me and my reputation. Good old Pat, the East End bike. You didn't deserve that. 
And yes, I've always played around. It started with Frank, Pete, Kenny. Dennis Watts. Ryan Wicks. I didn't know you were seeing him then. I was seeing everyone then. I was going through men like water. You see, I, I was let down badly. I was hurt, bitter. I wanted to get my revenge. Once you start, you can't stop. Now I feel ashamed, dirty. Especially since I'm halfway to getting something decent. I, I didn't go the old log with all of them. Of course they said I did. Good for a dirty laugh down the boozer. Good for their reputations. Them reputations are different for men, aren't they? I got pregnant with you. That gave me some power. Yeah, eventually I could play one off against the other. Who's Simon's dad? That would have stopped the dirty laughs at the boozer, I can tell you. I just used you. You were like a helpless little pawn in a grown-up's game. You weren't important, I was. I forgive myself for being that selfish. For treating you like a nobody. You see, I've... I've known all along who your father was. You care? I know. So hit me. How could you do that? Try and understand, Simon. I'll never understand, You Mom. might one day. Or was it Pete or Kenny? Neither. So it was then, after all. Oh, you want it to be him, do you? I always knew there was something. Why anybody should want to be like that rattlesnake, I'll never know. No, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Simon. Mr. Dennis Watts ain't your dad. There was only one man in Wolford then. He was the real thing for a time, that... That's why I married him. Ron Wicks. Oh, wow. You called him stepfather all your life, haven't you, wasn't it? You're lying. I'm not. You know I'm not. Yeah, I know, you know. Why? Suited my purpose. It kept them all guessing, under the cosh. Your gran wanted me to tell you. Yeah, only she's not my gran. She'll always be your gran. Oh, she was so right. This has gone on for too long. And all I'm left with is this stupid word. I'm sorry. He's no good, but he is your dad. You'll hate me for a while, but that's a small price to pay for clearing the air. Finally. So I don't belong to the Bills, or the family. No, Wixie. You belong to me. Oh, that Lou. She certainly knows how to put the cat among the pigeons. Dream, dream, dream. When I feel blue. 
Morning. In the night. You fell on down. I feel blue. Oh, pack it in, it's too Can early. You... Mm, you were a horse, they put you out of your misery. What are you talking about? I've got a great voice. I could have had a recording contract in the 1950s. I could have been the next Marty Wilde. Tall, <laughs> dark, and in soup. That and bald in more life. Oh, thanks very much indeed. Where's Robbie, mate? I let him out. What, just now? No, last night. He's been out all night? <laughs> Must be the time of year. Well, what are you doing up so early? <sighs> I've been a bit restless lately. There must be all the goings on round here. That bomb going off really shook me. I'm still having nightmares about it. I should know if it hadn't been for Simon's birthday, might have got killed. Yes, darling. Lou's funeral didn't help either. Stupid. I, I couldn't stand the old bag. We never saw eye to eye. But I shall miss her as much as anybody else. It's amazing how one old boot's life can affect so many people. Funny enough, it's got me thinking about my old mum. You know, I should really go and see her just to see how she is. What's she like? Mum's here. A bit stubborn. A bit cantankerous. <laughs> Got a terrible temper, but apart from that, she's lovely. <laughs> no, another Lou Bill. <laughs> yeah. So why don't you go? What's stopping you? Well, I'll tell you the truth, darling. Um, I'd rather go on me and I don't want to take the kids. Well, no, them two, they'd rather be here anyway. Oh, don't worry. They'll find something to amuse them. No, I'm not worried on that count, darling. I'm more concerned for you. I... Listen, uh, if I went with four days, do you, do you think you'd cope? Hey, Babe Brody's back. Yeah, so I see. And he grew upstairs, he's starving. How about that dog is costing us? And I want a leg, probably, so what? Well, so is Den's dog. Let Den feed him. This was supposed to be a temporary arrangement. Till he got himself settled. As far as I can see, he settles. I send him home. This is his home? We're not his parents. <sighs> this has got something to do with me going away, hasn't it? Oh, nothing to do with it. Brody, come on, son. Come on, Rose. Come on, then. Sorry, me old mate. There she go. I'll see you later. Back was on the floor, was on that knitting machine. She hardly speaks. Not like Kathy, is it? No, Pat, I could do one of her famous tongue lashings right now. She won't come out. It's understandable, isn't it? I don't know what to do about it. Pete, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, but it's hard, Pat. I know, but it will take one day at a time. I just don't want to get up in the morning. Survival, you know, keep your chin up. I've got to see where I'm going, then. That's it, smile. The future's always brighter. It's not the future, it's the present. First Cathy, then the old mum, God bless her. Ian, got the old bill on the daily, whether I go. Hello, Cla. <clears throat> oh, Cat, okay. just talking about you. Yeah, yeah it's good to see you get out for a while. Yeah. Hi, Cat. Hi, Cat. Yeah, give a podcast, Cathy. Okay? Everything all right? Sorry, I changed my mind. I don't want to drink. Where you been? We've done her. Oh, she got to you first, did she? If it's not one of you getting at me, it's the other. What do you feel about her, Simon? We're looking at flats. Both of you? Yeah. Was she the one who was doing the looking? Oh, both of us, I suppose. You suppose? Are you moving in with her, are you? I don't know. You don't know? No. Well, you don't sound very sure. I'm not. Then chuck her. Ain't that easy, Mum, is it? It's dead easy to chuck anybody, if you want to. Listen, you need a place of your own. You can't go on kipping on a sofa at Pauline's forever. Anyway, I've had a letter from your dad. Oh, yeah, what's he want? Well, he just says I'm doing well with my life. Going up in the world, running a pub. Always thought I could do it, he says. Then he says... It's all right for some, meaning me, I suppose. It ain't so what for others, meaning him. What's he playing at? Looking for a handout. Sharing me fortune, as he sees it. Just because I'm running a pub thinks I'm somebody out of Dallas. I've expected this when he was round here trying to pawn some money off me the other day. So what are you going to do about it? <sighs> Wait till Frank gets back, discuss it with him. So what do you want to see me about, then? Well, I wanted to ask your advice and all, of course. You've got no intentions about asking my advice about nothing. You just want to nag me about Donna. I haven't been in nothing. I've got to be thirsty. Where do you think you think? It's opening time. I've had to manage all by myself. Hey, that's not true. Pat, I'd help. Yes, well, if it hadn't been for Diane and Ricky, I'd have been right up the creek. You're standing in for Dot, that's all. Standing in for Dot? This is your job. This is what you get paid for. Oh, I'm sorry. She said you'd only be five minutes. Donna, I don't like your attitude. I haven't got time to stand and talk to you now. Just ask Diane how far she's got with the grub, please. Well, pass me the cutlery, then I've done everything else. Oh, I see. I've got to take orders from school kids now. That is great. I beg your pardon. Nothing. Better buck your ideas up, young lady. I'll speak to you properly later. 
Hey, Rowley, no, darling, you are Den's dog. You don't live here no more, eh? Huh? Should go. Glasses or not? Small hygiene, it's letting dry in the air. Donna, I've told you before, I like everything put away neat and tidy at the end of each session, OK? In two seconds will I get back at 5.30. Yes, I want those dried and put away now, please. Then never minded. And when you've dried them and put them away, I want to see you upstairs. But I can't. I'm meant to be meeting Wixie. Upstairs, Donna, in five minutes. I think we should have a little chat, don't you? That Donna's got it coming to her. Yeah? She's so grumpy, she wears those stupid clothes. Mm. Look, do you like living here? Yep. I'm give asking you something important. Do you like living here? I said yes. Now, give me it. No way. I said all right. I like it. It's good. We can do what we like more or less, can't we? With Pat around, I thought it'd be a lot of hassle. But she's all right. Yeah, she's OK. I mean, even with Dad away, she's all right. Betty, she's more relaxed when he's away. Ricky, do you reckon they'll get married? Her and Dad? God, I hope not. She's all right, but I don't fancy her as a stepmom. <laughs> give me it. Anyway, I don't want to think about it. Mum, Dad and Pat, all right? They share the same bedroom. I don't see why she'd mind if they get married. Because I do. It's but different. Don't try to teach me my God, job, what well. a racket. Come on, you two. And glue yourselves from the box. Go and get some fresh air for a change. I want to talk to Donna. Like the T-shirt, Donna. Right, Donna, sit down. I think we'd better get a few things sorted out, don't you? I suppose so. Frank and I want to run a happy ship. That's very important to us. A happy ship means that staff have got to fit in, right? Yeah. So, three house rules. First, you don't turn up late for work. Second, you do things the way Frank and I want them done, not how Den or Ange or anybody else did them. Right? Yeah. And third, you're cheerful and polite at all times. Frank can't abide a sulky woman, nor can I. You stick to those three rules and we'll get along just fine. OK, off you go. Oh, and Donna, you can take this as a warning. You won't get another, is that clear? Yeah. Anything you want to say? No. Well, that is, yeah, I want to uh, apologise for being late today, that's all. Right. Well, let's forget the past, shall we? You turn up for work at 5.15 sharp, and we'll start again, this time on the right footing. Oh, and Donna, message from Simon. Yeah? He popped in to say he couldn't make it this afternoon. But we were supposed to see a flat together. Where else he gone? I don't know. I wouldn't pin your hopes on him, love. He's bound to let you down. I mean, the Bible teaches us to share and share alike, doesn't it? Yes, Doc. I mean, remember the loaves and fishes? I mean, they wasn't put in tins, they were shared. And I'm sure the same goes for the digestive biscuits, which she says I ate and I never. No, Doc. Still, if she wants to be petty, I should just have to go along with her. Well, there we are. What do you think? Lovely, Doc. Oh, what's all this then, Doc? Never you mind. Ask Pauline Fowler. Life, no worries, no, that Guzin's looking after the place. Oh, she's a wonderful woman, Ali. Thank you very much. Especially when she's got her apron. <laughs> darling Donna, speak to me. Hello, Mehmet. Hello, my darling. Now, I've got a bit of time left, so how about that evening you promised me so long ago? Uh, no, I think you must be joking. You don't give up, do you, huh? Why should I? Huh? It is you, old coming boy. Oh, poor old boy, you must be starving. Come on, I'll give you some Sarah, what are you doing? Don't you feel mad if she sees us together? I don't care. She's got to realise that I'm not her property. Oh, I see. So I'm just here to get off your back, am I? Yeah. Right. In that case, I'm going to talk to Mummy. Who are you? Hello, Mummy. Oi, oi. Oh, Scissors. Scissors. Hello, Mum. Hi, Sarah. Where's Donna? Somewhere around. I arranged for us to go and see a flat together. You totally let me down. Oh, I'm sorry, Donna. I didn't realise it was a firm well, arrangement. it was. Well, I had other things to do. About taking me out. Oh, I see. You went out with him. So what if I did? Simon is mine, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, and you can wipe that stupid smile off your face because we're practically engaged. Oh, you live in Clare. Like engaged and about to move into a flat together, so just keep out of it. Look, if Blow wants to ask me out, that's between him and me, right? I don't have to consult third parties. No, and I don't have to put up with cheap little tarts like you making trouble between me and my man. Just shut it, will you, Donna? Cheap little tarts. She will go with anyone, Wixie. She knows a Walford bike, or didn't you know? A real health risk, I say. Right. That's enough. Now get out before I lose my temper. I work here, remember? All right then. If we're going to have a slanging match, let me tell you something, right? Ever since you come to Wolford, you've been nothing but trouble. I've watched you flirt with every man in sight, worming your way in everywhere. Well, it won't work, Donna. Because nobody wants you. You're an outsider. You don't belong. Now, come on. Come on. You know why? Because you're a big oh, 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 All right. All right. Pull it. You are barred, right? You're a barred at no. this pub. Donna, into the hall now. Used to. Had to find somewhere else to drink tonight. Go on, up it. I told you, didn't I? The thing she said to me, she was unbelievably rude. I don't care. 
It is not your place to bar anybody. I am the landlady, and as of now, you're not even the barmaid. I told you this afternoon one morning was all you would get. Did you hear what she was Listen saying? to me, will you? You were late for work again. You've had Rowley when I asked you not to. You left the bar untended. And as for what happened out there, it was disgraceful. But it wasn't my fault. People come to the Vic to relax. Enjoy themselves. Get away from it. I'm sorry, Donna, but I've got no choice. You're fired. Fired? Yes, fired. There's a week's wages. I want you off the premises straight away. Diana, I've just done a terrible thing. I've sacked Donna. I hope your dad doesn't mind. Of course you won't. She had it coming to her. It's okay, pal. I'll help. Thanks, love. Well, Diane. Yeah? You promised to look after him. And if Frank agrees, perhaps we can have Rolly back here after oh, all. Pat, thanks. Mm. He's not there. So what are we going to do? Well, it's your turn to take him out. So? So if you'd have come in the court, it wouldn't have happened. Oh, well, that's typical of you, Look, that all is. All I did was let him out for a minute, because if he'd done anything on the floor, I would have got the blame. I don't know he's going to disappear, did I? I'm not a mind reader. She's going to kill us, you know that. One of the conditions of us keeping Rolly was that we looked after him. Dad's going to be back any minute now. So? So let's have one more look. Yeah, we did, Miss you. And yes, we have to cope without you. How's your mum? All the better for seeing me. A little boy. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and you got one of the kids? Want to know the truth? Better without you. Oh, terrific. Shall I go away again? No. Better without you because they couldn't use you in an argument. I mean, it was just me and them. They had to stand or fall by the merit of what they said. You had a uh, word, gentlemen, or something? No, I'm just telling you what I think. All right, then. The kids are fine. You're all fine. I'm fine. My mum's fine. How was the business? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Better without me. Put it this way, the takings haven't gone down. Mm. You're really trying to make me feel welcome, you aren't you? Eh? I'm just telling you the truth. I oh, know, darling. It's just your sense of humour that I love. Yeah. Well, there is another thing. I had to give Donna the grand order of the boot the other day. Oh. Now, come on, that girl's been a pain in the rear ever since she got here. She's a lying little schemer, and last Tuesday was a final straw. All right, what should you do? Have her hands on her two or something? No, 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 nothing like that. Well, come on, then tell me, what happened? I won't stand for Barney's in front of the customers, or with the customers, for that matter. Simon came in with Cindy for a quiet drink, but oh, not as far as Donna was concerned. She goes straight at it. There's a screaming match. She practically throws Cindy out, and then she tells her she's barred. Now, I'm not having behaviour like that, Frank, all right? All right, baby. If that's your judgment, I'll accept it. Oh, that's very nice of you. Now, hang on a minute. If you thought that was the best thing to do, let's find by me. I wasn't here. And as far as I'm concerned, the matter's closed. All we're going to do now is discuss a replacement. Unless you've done that already, of course. Well, I've got somebody in mind. Oh, yeah. Look now, uh, hang on. Listen to the qualifications. Lives in the area. Single. Several years' experience in the trade. Trustworthy, cheerful and available. Ah, we're taking. Thought you might. So, with your agreement, I vote we give Simon first refusal. Uh -huh. I'll get a message to him straight away. All right, baby. That's, uh, that's fine by me. But bearing in mind, it's always nice to be consulted. And plus the fact I do have one tiny additional suggestion to make. Oh, yeah, go on. Well, given the fact that um, we only have one pretty face around the establishment now, to wit yours, <laughs> my suggest uh, we give Paul in the odd evening session. Frank, you need your glasses checked. Well, we don't want to outshine you, darling, do we? Eh? You know, just someone to fall back on when the time leaves it, eh? Yeah, OK. Good. Business over. I deserve, need and require a kiss. Stand up and cuddle me. <laughs> Oh, mm. oh, darling. The only thing I didn't miss was falling over the dog, actually. <laughs> How is Pauline, by the way? Still got it, but she's trying to carry on like normal. Which is why I thought it might have been a good idea. She could use the money and probably, uh, being busy, I'll keep her mind occupied, yeah? You're right. It's working. I think it is, just. Oh, mm. oh, <clears throat> hey, guys! Oh, your baby, you missed the old man, yeah. did you? Oh. Hey, where's Rowley? I thought you were taking him for a walk. Isn't he back here? No, no. She had him. No, I never. You did. Hey. Thanks very much. Oh, sorry. Thought you finished with it. Any sign of him? No. 
<laughs> you looked around the market, the square? Yeah. So neither you've got any idea where Roly is? I don't know he's going to disappear. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you're both involved. Roly was in your care. You were the last ones to see him. You can get back out there and find him right now. He could be anywhere. Well, the sooner you start, the better. Yeah, but where are we going to look? Hold on, hold on. Before everybody starts ducking and diving all over the place, let's take a stop now. Roly's been around here longer than us, right? So? Well, he couldn't have got lost, baby. He's probably gone for a little walk. Oh, you think so? Oh, for crying. He must have wandered off before. All dogs do, love. Not when I looked after look, him, Frank. why don't we let him come home here without any fuss? If he doesn't show, then the kids can go and look for him. All right, we'll give it till one o'clock. If he's not back here by then, I want the both of yous up here. Make sure we're both back to Perry, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. What do you do? Please. So, I've to give him time, babe. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Frank. Yeah. I think I better let you know. I heard from Mr. Wicks him indoors. Oh. Congratulating me on my good fortune, moaning about his own. What do you think? What do you mean? What do I think? What do you think's more important? I think he's looking after number one. I mean, you ought to know that. You're right back or what? What do you think? No, I don't give a moan. He's right back, don't no right back. Whatever you feel is best. Excuse me. I'm <gasps> oh, sorry, I forgot I had it. Well, I'll tell you what. Since you're so keen on my paper, I'll let you have half. How about that? It's very civil of you. <laughs> now, what half do you want? Well, oh, nothing changes, does it, Mark? Hey, where's Rowley, by the way? How are the kids? Well, me neither. She's going to go mad if we go back without him. Yeah, I don't know if she thinks she is. Yeah, well, maybe you'll be more careful next time, if there is a next well, time. what about you, then? Well, I wasn't the one who let him out, then. What's all right? Right, so what are we going to do? We're going to have to carry on looking. We can't go back without him. Lovely. Oh, sign all the kids in, babe. No, I'll roll it. Come on, he'll turn up when he's ready, love. Oh, leave him alone and he'll come home wagging his tail behind him. There's only a nursery rhyme, Frank. And Dan is not going to be amused. Darling, this is his home. He'll be back. Don't worry. What if something's happened to him? Who's that then? Nobody. Rowley. Something happened to Rowley? One of the kids let him out this morning, since when we ain't seen him. Well, don't worry, he's probably just gone for a wonder That's or something. That's what I keep trying to tell her. Yeah, even that or he's been dug now. <laughs> Simon, that ain't funny. <laughs> I don't want Den hearing about it. I'm off to see Paul. Oh, I'll get it. Here, I bet that's him now. Oh, Den. Okay. Now the dog phone up say he's been lost. Barking the directions, eh? Right? <laughs> Quinn, hello. Hello, Den. Oh, she's not here at the moment, me old son. Let me on, Den. Tell you one a word. Right, me old brother. God bless. He, um, he didn't come home. I know you're busy, but I can come just to chat. Oh, what's up then? Don't I chat anymore? Frank and I were wondering if you'd like the chance of an odd evening at the Vic. Oh, yeah, run out of people to sack, have you? That little madam got what she deserved. Oh. To tell you the truth, I should have done it sooner. Quite unusual, that. What? Someone getting what they deserve. Usually it's the other way round. People get what they don't deserve. You feeling all right? Yeah, I'm just a bit, well, you know. Yeah. Well, if we knew we could count on you, when we're busy, you know, well, it would take a weight off Frank's mind, you know, it was all settled and that. What'd you say? All right, then, why not? Can't do any harm. Might even do me a bit of good. At least it'd be a chance. Thanks, Paulie. Hi, Paul. Hello. Pat, then says he'd like to see over at the uh, wine bar when experiment. What about? I don't know, I didn't say. You know, I've got Dash, got to go meet him up. See you Hello. He's found out, hasn't he? What about? Well, nothing much. Just we can't find Rowley. Rowley? Rowley can't get lost. He's lived around here too long. Probably just gone for a wonder. Well, he'll come home wagging his tail behind him. Hope Den feels the same. Rowley's about all he's got left. Except his own right opinion of himself, of course. Oh, oh shut up. up! It didn't take you long to jump into my shoes, did it? It ain't your job, Donna, not your own. Oh, no, Simon would never do such a thing, would he? You lost your job because of what you did, the way you behaved. It's your fault. You can't blame no one else. Poor little Simon's job went up in smoke. Little Simon's unhappy. So what does fairy mummy do? She waves her magic wand and makes nasty Donna disappear. So now there's a job for the good little boy and everybody lives happily ever after. You know what? You've got to screw this. Well, if I have, you've helped to turn it. You're going to work for Mummy, are we? Look, Donna. Go on, then. Hit me. Why don't you? Pat my heart, my lamb, my love. Yeah. What are you thinking, babe? Oh, that's something new. You want to take the evening off? Oh, that's not funny. Look, I'm serious. I've been thinking about the new licensing laws. I've Frank, got my... we've only been here a couple of months. Let's settle in first. Let's see what the other pubs in the area do before we change anything. All right, babe. You're the boss. Right. Have the oh. kids found Rowley yet? No, they haven't given me, give me, thank you. Oh, I'll better get round there, then. Oh, fair do, darling. They've stuck it out. You've got to give them that. Yeah, but a little word like sorry wouldn't be out of place, would it? No, I wouldn't. Better go and see a man about it. What do you mean, what kept me? you got legs, haven't you? You want to see me? You pop round to me, otherwise you wait till I'm ready. Good old Pat. Who told you? Who told me what? 
Nothing. What are you talking about? Nothing. I want you to do me a favour. You feeling all right in the head? Just go and sit down and listen, will you? Can't involve Sharon. Pete's got a mouth like Blackwall Tunnel. You're the only one I can trust. I'm flattered. You ought to be. My experience of a bloke says that. It's usually in trouble. And you've had lots of experience. Now I may or may not want you to do something for me. Like what? Things that I can't take care of myself. It's all in here. What is? To be opened when necessary and not before understood. Oh. When the time comes, if the time comes, only then do you open it. I don't know what you're going on about. Not planning to jump off a bridge or something, are you? No. I'm not about to top myself. The opposite, in fact. If you ain't suicidal, you've got to be in trouble. I'm OK. There's nothing happening. So what are we doing here? You're here because you're the only one I can trust. Now, will you do as you're told and look after these for me and ask no more questions? I don't know what's going on, but give it here. There's been a lot of changes around here, then. I wouldn't like to see you go. Who well, said anything about going? In fact, who said anything at all? I was never here. See you tomorrow, Pat. Same as ever was. Look after Rowley for me. Yeah, I'm working on that one. You make sure you give him a good arm. Home's the place you run away from. Like you said, he was never here. Take a stop. Give us your ears a minute, will ya? Oh. Uh, anybody here seen Rowley? Well, you lost him, have you? Well, that's money ain't been seen since, so? Maybe he's been dog <laughs> We've heard that one before. Is there a reward? <laughs> Listen, I saw him lunchtime at the allotment. Ah, oh, no, they'll have resprayed him by now, given him a new name and registration <laughs> number and a new dog book. <laughs> oh, maybe we should get up a search party. Or a posse. He could have oh, been yeah. Russell. Let's have a bit of coral rod, please. Sorry, Frank, I'm an animal lover. Look, really. have you phoned the police? See if anything's been reported. Right, I'm back. Oh, oh, well, that's all right, then. There ain't been an accident. He hasn't been run over. No. No. Maybe he's got amnesia. He ain't the only one. Anyway, listen, he'll turn up when he's good and ready. I'll leave that, because I've got to shoot. Oh, See ya. Tell us. Tell us. Maybe he's been kidnapped by one-armed man. What, you mean the one-armed bandit? How'd he lift him up? Oh, perhaps he lured him. Bet you don't do the same with your brain. Well, since you've got nothing to offer, clock this, please. Have a look. And keep your eyes peeled. Yes, free champagne for anyone who finds him. That's the reward. Subject to the conditions I've mentioned, Mr. Vinicom has agreed. All that we have to hope for now is that Mr. Watts will keep to his side of the bargain. He will. If he doesn't, well, let's just say that arrangements have been made. Just leave it with me, OK? Turn your up, please. Good night, guys. Thanks very much. Good night. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. Well, I'll be so happy. Lovely, lovely. Here you go, baby. Another day, another dollar. That didn't do much good, did it? Oh, blimey, give it a chance, Pat. Well, what am I going to tell Den? Don't tell him nothing yet. Anyway, I think he shows good spirit on behalf of the kids and knocked that up, don't you? Yeah. I should think so as well. Oh, little blighter. All right, here comes the Inquisition. I thought he'd be around before the day was out. Morning. Morning. They told me I'd find you here. Got a moment. If I had, I wouldn't stop you beating them up, would it? No, not really. Do you mind? Yeah. I'm afraid we need some answers, Mr. Bill. Yeah. Yeah, babes. Mm -hmm. You ever seen a red lace? Yeah, Rhodesia. Rhodesia. Bitter, but it looks nice. I thought you were uh, I've not had a chance to take Rolly out. All right, if I pop up ten minutes. Are you sure? When did you last see him? Oh, the day before he checked out at Doris's. And he never said anything. He just told me to take it easy about all his business with my wife. Now, is that all? Who would you say was the most likely person for him to confide in if he had personal problems? No idea, mate. Anything unusual these last few days? Strangers, that sort of thing? No, it's a family. It's Mr. West's regular clientele. Mm, many strange faces or gossip, I would have known. It's been a pretty average week, hasn't it, Pat? Yeah, pretty even. Well, if you think of anything, or hear of anything, you let me know, yeah? Certainly, Mr. West. Yeah. Feel free to come in whenever you like. Thanks. Bye. You know, one thing about her, Dennis Darling, whether he's in the frame or out of it, he always manages to keep people talking about him. Yeah. You reckon Simon's all right? He's great. Knows his job, gets on with it, and he's lovely with the customers. He's his mother's boy, isn't he? You want a family puppy, you'll get him one, Dom. Thank you. Hello, darling, how are you? Could be better. <laughs> Look, I was wondering if anyone had heard or said anything. About then? Yeah, I just thought there must be a lot of people still coming in here. No, baby, but Mr. West, God bless his heart, and cotton socks, he's knocking himself out of the roof, he's pursuit of justice, but so far he's had no joy. I've been singing myself in about an hour. You want to get some food inside to keep your strength up? No, I'm not hungry. No orange juice will do. An orange juice and a sausage roll would do that. Now go and sit down. I'll bring it over. Go on. Get a sausage roll with a pet, darling, will you? No. I feel sorry for that little girl, I do. 
you grab a couple of weeks in the sun and forget all about it, mate. Don't deserve her. I know she's not a baby anymore, but she's still their daughter. Look at her there, babe. She's good. Here, yeah, Rod. Take that across the Sharon, mate. On the house. Well, go on, move yourself. You can make a pint last an hour and a half. You can make yourself useful. Don't look at me like that, Dice. You ain't got Great big softy, you are. Sit <laughs> Melody. She's fine, you're all right, aren't you? Yeah. This child has been hanging around waiting for you lot all day. So, why? Well, she's Junior's friend, not ours, and you sent Junior to his grand. So don't blame us, because it's really not our fault. Well, couldn't you have taken her with you? We were down by the canal. We couldn't take her there, could we? Well, you older kids should look out for the little ones. I mean, keep them amused. She could have come to grief. Like where? Where could we take her? Well, the playground. Couldn't you have spent the afternoon in the playground? Have you seen it recently? <laughs> Grand, you're not for you all the time. How much are you paying? I'm paying over the odds. Four? Leave off. Seven. In my day, it was five bob. 25 people. Yeah, yeah, I'll con the next one out of him, though, because I'm here desperate. Well, I'll do something desperate soon if you two don't get up for your breakfast. I ain't hungry. We'll be up with him any time. What's going on? Nothing. When people say nothing, they usually mean something. Ricky's got yourself a job. Oh, yeah? Clean job we offered you, not good nothing. I'll start and she's mug enough to do it. Big man, so what are you doing? Running errands for the wild boys in the market? No. So what is this wonderful position, then? Darling, don't have a go at him. He's taken over Sir Hull's job. You can't let him do that. It's got nothing to do with you. I'm doing it, and that's that. Well, don't expect me to clean him up. He comes back the bloody nose. My son can take care of himself. <laughs> that's what they all say. And don't blame me for this stone cold either. Babe, I want to talk to you, darling. I've got to I've get in the tub. Out of the way, Roland. But, but darling, I've had a letter from my mum this morning. Pat, this is very important, sweetheart. But well, it's Simon. It's as dead as a dodo, in here. It was so different from when Dem was around. Yeah, well, the dag gone. We should be laughing all the way to the bank, but we ain't, are we? Yeah, well, if the tanks are down, it's on account of the food, isn't it? Uh, well, since Ian started his delivery service, it's gone right down the pan. Well, the novelty there was soon wore off, plus the fact the profit margin there was peanuts. This is where our success lies, my old son. And if Pep won't go and serve that old geezer a drink in a minute, I'm going to go over there and hang my right on her bugle. I was over there myself this time last year. I oh, didn't see much of it, though. <laughs> I'd arranged to meet him, the incredible uncle over there, the other side. We spent most of the time in a boozer by the Cutty Silk. That was the only thing I did find, a familiar pub. The rest, well, I could have been in Disneyland. <laughs> They've even got a railway there now. I mean, I take a trip on that ever since it started. I wouldn't go near it. Huh? They can't even afford a driver. Boys and girls, let's have you on your way home. Come on, sorry, Elsa. Open them up. Okay. I've got it. The band. Hey? The band. Me and a couple of others are forming this group. Well, much cock, but it's a fault, isn't it? Bit too noisy to me, Simon. And you boys, please, come right, along. I'll leave you two to clear up, all Where right? Where are you going, darling? Where are you going? Kids have to eat something other than beans on toast, you know. Babe, we've got to talk to you. It's very, very important. Yeah, well, if it's about another entertainment evening, you know my feelings about it. No, 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 it's not that. Simon, do us a favour. Keep shoving them out, mate. Well, can't wait get back. Yeah, right. Don't want to crop up, my love. It's, it's very... Look, it's about me mum, babe. Oh, yeah? You plan to disappear and go and visit her again for a few days? No, I see her the way around. She, she wants to come and visit us. When? Thursday. It ain't convenient. But don't blow a guest kit. Have you haven't even met her yet, Pet? For how long? Well, just a few days, that's what it is. First it was your kids. Now it's the old dragon herself. Looks like my instincts were right last summer, doesn't it? Now come on, babe. You're getting great together. I know you will. What Ricky and Diana told me, no chance. Oh, come on, darling. They're warning you up. They love their grain. If you're thinking of her for your star attraction, forget it. From what I hear, she can empty a pub in two minutes flat. from St. Frank, it's only a mum come to stay, not one of the royals. She could turn up many times, darling. Nobody comes to stay at 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> Frank, calm oh. down, please. Oh, darling, you don't know her. She can see a speck of dust at 100 yards. Oh, she won't like the state of Dyne's bed. Riley's been on with mud on his feet. Oh, I'll swing for that dog yet. Classic Dennis what stroke that landing with the poodle. You was the one at the end of the day said you'd look after him. Oh, he didn't give me much choice, did he? Well, now he is. Yeah, he'll be all right. He's a sort that always lands on his feet, babe, isn't he? Well, don't do me much good if you're being pushed off a flyover. What they're saying is he's propping one up. Right. You're looking very serious. Pete, working you too hard, is he? I oh, know. I'm just thinking. Oh, Pauline was looking for you. Did you see him? Yeah, I know. She's on her eye horse again. What you done now? Well, not me this time. No, thank God. Not me. Now she heard from the new owners of the cemetery, you know? You know, there was all that sharp practice about the council selling off for a five or something ridiculous like yeah, that. Yeah, I remember. Blimey, if I know graveyards are that cheap, I'd have half a dozen myself. Yeah, exactly. But you wouldn't have got one, though, because you don't wear the right school tie. Anyway, she heard today that they've applied for planning permission. Lou will come back and haunt them, <laughs> rather than me. No, it's bad, really. It really is. I mean, it's such bare-faced growl, isn't it? I went to jail for a lot less, you know. You know what they say, Arthur? One law for the rich. Here, Frank, you know you was looking for an idea for a special night here in the pub? Yep. Well, I've got an idea. Well, as long as I ain't a dancer doing lewd things with a python or a stand-up comic with a long line of filthy gag, because Mum, Pat won't stand for that, love. She won't. You amaze me. 
No, my idea is this. An old time music all night. Hey! Hey, come yeah. here, darling. Mum's come up with a solution. Solution? To know had a problem, not till she came anyway. You have an old time music all night. Hey! You like it? I always did. Only when I suggested it to you the other day, you just ignored me, didn't you? Here, Pat, is Simon around? No, love, he's gone out. Can I take a message? No. No, I was just looking for shoulder to cry me. You and me both don't. Well, I thought you had everything going for you nowadays. Yeah, so did I. Looks like I was wrong, doesn't it? Who yeah, is that? New barmaid? Frank's mother. Families. It's just like the Mafia. You never get shot of them. Yeah, well, I seem to have managed all right without even trying. No word? Nothing. I'm surprised. Pat, you think you'd find some way of getting in touch with me, wouldn't you? I mean, you must know how worried I am. I thought my mum and dad loved me, but when it comes down to it, all they think about is themselves. What about the flat? You said not to worry about the mortgage, but I don't know what to believe now. Kids today, I don't know what's wrong with them, I really don't. They're allowed to do what they like, that's the trouble. I mean, I've got Frank's there, running around the district like savages. I can't say I feel a certain part is going to be the sort of influence you ought to be, if you catch my drift. Do you mean Pat? No names, no pack drill, but yes. I mean, what do you think of her, really? I'm the last person to ask. I used to be married to her. Mr. Wicks? No, I'm the other one. Oh, well, you'll sympathise with me. I mean, would you like your grandchildren to be brought up by the sort of floozy that thinks the greatest thing in life is swanning about behind a bar in a lure ex top? Not a lot. Well, she's all right, really, is Oh, there's nails are. Oh, common, that's what I reckon. Common as muck. Has she ever got her claws into my Frank, I'd like to know. Oh, I think he really cares for you, isn't it? It's infatuation. Get about your father, has to turn any man's in. As soon as the novelty wears off, he'll get sick of her. You'll see her for what she really is. You wait. I certainly did. Where's she gone to, anyway? Skyven, I suppose. Oh, there she is, through there. With that dog. Ah, two platinum blondes together. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all right, swell. Got a bit of headache, that's all. Yeah, I'll get you something for it. 